Hey, how you doing? This is Mark with Aquabanas, and what I want to do today is we're going to show you how to set up a party banner. It's actually a P10 combo, so it's going to consist of a party banner deck, and then there's going to be a BT12010, and there's going to be a uh, lounger, a double lounger that's going to connect to it, so you'll be able to put 10 adults very comfortably on the water. Right here, we're at um, Epperson Lagoon in uh, uh, Chapel, Florida, and Wesley Chapel, Florida, and it's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful location. So the weather's great. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is how your this is how your banner arrives. It's in a wrap, and on the wrap you've got four flaps that come up that that go ahead and close this up. So you've got strapping on here. It's a two-inch nylon webbing. Goes through a double D-ring connection, like seatbelt or like a, a motorcycle helmet is how it laces. Basically, it'll go through these two and come back here, and this is how you pull it tight. In this instance, we're taking it off. We're going to go ahead and do that. Going to open this up, and it's also wrapped a second way. So come over here, undo these. And then what you have is the party banner that's rolled up. Now we went ahead and had this in our shop. We, we opened it up from the factory, had it in our shop, checked everything out, and then we rolled it back up. So when you get yours originally new out of the package, it's going to be covered in all kinds of protective plastic wrapping and a little bit of foam and stuff like that. So you're going to have to tear that off. Number one rule, never use a knife. Never use scissors where they're pointing down into the product. This is inflatable. And no matter how strong and tough and durable the... Okay, we went ahead and unrolled the unit, and it's, it's laid out here. We're going to take, we're going to inflate it right here, and then we're going to have a couple guys come over, help us pick it up, and we're going to put it into the water. Um, just to show you a couple of features that are underneath all of Aqua Banners, in this instance, the party banner. But number one, all Aqua Banners have an anchor ring right here. There's one on each side of this. This, is, this way you can anchor it down to the seabed, tie it off to the yacht. Or um, use it to, if you have to pull it somewhere, you can tie it to this and you can pull it. So you have these rings right here. Right here, this is a netted footwell. It, it basically, when you see the, the, the two half moon openings that are on the deck, as you're sitting down, your feet go down inside of this. So this basically keeps, if your keys were to fall through or your, your phone or the kid falls through, you can go ahead and grab them, pull them up. Nobody's going anywhere other than the, you know, the bottom of this 20 inches down. They can just stand there. Over here, this is a ballast bag. You have two ballast bags, one on each corner, opposing corners. And what this does, this fills with water. When this is full of water, if you take this and you try to bump it, this, this deck is not going to skid across the water. It's going to stay rock solid. Now what we've also done is we have this strap, and we have a, we have a rope tied to it. Because sometimes you may want to move the banna, and you don't want to drag that extra water. So what you can do is you take this clip right here, this quick link, Open it up. You pull the banner. Take this webbing strap right here. Pull it up here. Bring it over here. Clip it together. And what that'll do is this will hold the ballast bag closed, so that as you're going through the water, you're not having to drag water with it. You're not having to fight it. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Oh, hold on. While I'm here, let me show you this. Right here. Speed is really important to a lot of people when they're doing the Aquabana setup. So what we do is we provide two inflation valves on opposing corners. So you have a total of four inflation valves in order to, to inflate this as quickly as possible. I'll explain more about the valves in just a moment when I go to inflate it, but that's what the inflation valves are right here. And then you also have a uh, double D-ring that serves two purposes. One, the, um, the, tent, the tent that goes over the top of this will sit right here and this D-ring right here will go to the tent. This D-ring lays flat, so if you have something that you need to connect to out there, you can go, you can take your rope under the leg of the tent and go past it. We give you a separate D-ring to do that. It's more of a convenience D-ring. Anyway, we'll explain more of that in a mo moment as well. So let me open this up. What you don't ever want to do is drag an inflatable on concrete. 
I'm being very careful here. Okay, so you have another double D-ring right there for anchoring, and you have another ballast bag right down there as well, and there's the other half of the moon shell, or the, the, the moon for the uh, footwell. Okay, now additionally what you have, and we're gonna inflate all this in just a minute, and I'll go through it in more detail, but I'm, I'm gonna run through it real quick. Right now you have a backrest right here. This inflates to about three or four PSI. You have another backrest right here, also three to four PSI. You have the inflation valve for the deck, two inflation valves here, and two inflation valves in that corner over there. That's four inflation valves for one chamber. The deck needs to go up to about four or five PSI, as high as you can get it, up to about five PSI. It doesn't need it to be any more than that. Then you have This is called the table podium. It has an inflation valve right here. And this is called the table top. This is the table top. This has an inflation valve also. So, if you look at it, you have five, five air chambers that make up this inflatable. The deck, even though it has four inflation valves, all four inflation valves go to one deck. That's one chamber. This backrest is a second chamber. That backrest is a third chamber. This table podium is a fourth chamber and this tabletop is a fifth chamber. Those are the five chambers it takes to do the, to, to inflate the party banner. The most important thing, this, this podium right here, this, this, this table podium, you can only get to about five PSI with the electric pump. You can also only get the tabletop to about five PSI with the electric pump. So, you, so we, we include a hand pump with this, and you have to hand pump this the rest of the way to 10 PSI. So the table podium has to be 10 PSI, and the table top has to be 10 PSI. If you've done that, you've got a party banner that people can get up on top of, you can dance on the tables, you can do all kinds of things. It's really amazing what you can do with this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop talking here for a second, and we're going to get the, uh, the inflation valve, get the generator kicked on, and get the inflation valves going, and I'm going to start inflating it. One. Okay, you've got to inflate the party banner now. And so what we've done is we're a dealer for Bravo. And we love Bravo pumps. We sell a lot of these. We sell them all over the world. We stock both 120 volt and 230 volt at all times. So one of the things that Bravo came out with was a Y connector, which allows you to take a Bravo pump and actually make it more efficient by using two hoses at the same time. So without getting into all the detail of why it's more efficient, the pump actually runs better. Take a Y connector, screw it right on here, I'll show you how it works. Basically, you have to use two washers here, and it, it screws in. This is your out right here, your output. So you basically screw it on there until it becomes horizontal, and then you take your one hose, put it on here. Second hose, do the same. Now you're good to go. You've got the fittings right here. These fittings go into all of the HR style valves that we put on the um, onto the unit. So each hose, and these are five meter hoses. Now we have hoses that go anywhere from the two meters that come standard with the pump, or we have a three meter that you can purchase additional, or a three meter, or a five meter, or a 10 meter, or a 15 meter, or a 25 meter. You can only use a 25 meter as a single output, but you could use two 15 meters on a Y connector, something to keep in mind. That becomes important. If you're on a yacht and you wanna, and you have a number of different inflatables, you can keep your pump safely in the garage and use a 15 meter connection and pretty, uh, 15 meter hose and pretty much hit anything that you're doing. Or let's say you've got a yacht slide and you've got, or some of the other Aquabana chambers that, that are products that have multiple chambers, like even this right here has multiple chambers. So you can have this Y connector going and you're filling different chambers up simultaneously. And that's what you're about to see that we're gonna do here in just a minute. Now the other thing we have is a hand pump. And all Aquabanas that all Aquabana products that include a table like the party banner or the picnic banner um, will include this hand pump. And what this does is a really good, it's the Super F hand pump. Again, it's a Bravo pump. It's got the uh, the, uh, the pressure gauge up on the top here so it's easy to read, know where you're at. And basically, when you inflate the party banner table podium and also the table top, they have to go to 10 PSI. 
So this Bravo pump here, the electric will get you up to about 5 PSI. This will get you the rest of the way. Okay? So we're going to get started here in just a second. Two, one, go. Okay, so we're about to go ahead and start the inflation with the Bravo pump. This is a Bravo 2000 pump. It's got 2,000 liters a minute. Uh, again, like I said, we have these in 120 volt and 230 volt. This particular one is 120 volt for the U.S. market. Right up here is where you have the output of air that goes out. Here's where you have the input where you're sucking, um, if, if, you're, if you're trying to suck the air out of something. I don't recommend ever using a pump to suck the air out of a water product. You're better off getting a shop vacuum. Go get a wet vacuum for 50 or 60 bucks from Home Depot or something. Use that to put it on top of the valve and suck it out. Otherwise, you'll get water that'll be sucked through your pump and you can cause damage to your pump. But aside from that, let me go ahead and get started. We have the Y connector here. We have two five meter hoses right here on the ground. This is a two stage pump. The first stage, you turn on the yellow button, the first stage it turns it on. Then you hit the red button and that's a boost. So the yellow button is 1200 liters a minute and of air per minute. And when you hit the red button, it goes to 2000 liters per minute. So you, and listen closely, you'll hear it on the video. So we're gonna go ahead and start the first one now. We got a generator so you can hear that kick on. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to the second one. It kicks on the second motor. So now, we have two air hoses that are blowing air into it. Open the valve, catch it. Use this hose and start to inflate your other chamber. So you've still got the deck inflating. We're going to talk about this in just a minute. This is a gap flap. Gap flap cover. Now you want to inflate the backrest about 3 psi. But more importantly, you want to make it to where it's comfortable. Make it to where it's far enough to sit on like this. Always close the cap when you're done. Never wear shoes on an inflatable. no problem, but if I want to soften it up, just let the ripple air out, not a problem at all. This is why you have two valves over here, so I'm all the ears over there. The pump is running more efficient 
pump runs much more efficient if you have two hoses going. step is you need to take this hand pump and go to the podium you need to pump the podium to 10 psi jump on this thing rock solid you can play cards you can have drinks you can have your lunch you can have dinner all kinds of cool stuff anyway it's rock solid okay we're gonna go to the next step okay here we are in front of the double lounger and what we're gonna do is show you how to inflate that how to unbag it and inflate it so again just like all other Aquabana products they have the wrap right here same type of strapping system, just like the uh, straps that you use on a motorcycle helmet. You close that and hold it on. Um, and open that up. And again, we had this opened up in our shop as well. So we did double check everything before we brought it out here. You've got a strap here. You've got another strap that rolled down here. When you get this product from the factory, brand new in the box, it's going to be wrapped in plastic. We've already taken all of that off. So here's the lounger right here, again, you have straps right here that keep it rolled up. And then what you're going to want to do is just open it up. you'll see that we've had the Y connector on the pump we've had two hoses going out in this instance there's only one inflation valve on the actual lounger so we took the Y connector off and we're just using one pump go ahead turn the power on by hitting the yellow button and remember after you hit the yellow button then you hit the red button to turn the booster pump on so that's the, that's the regular one that's the booster strong air flow coming out You have, a, you have a, a pressure relief valve right here. What you have right here 
it, this is called a, a gap flap. And what it does is it's a protection. This connects to the van of deck. And when you step off the van of deck onto the lounger, if your foot slips, it slips and lands onto this non-slip surface right here. So we're going to show how that works once we get this inflated and over to the, over to the uh, party banner. On this, you'll inflate this until this pressure relief valve pops open. When this valve pops open, you know you've reached the, the appropriate pressure. This is going to pop open. You hear that right there? That's with the close, and it pops open. Okay, this will drain air. This will drain air until it equals out to the, to the proper pressure that it's supposed to be. One thing I haven't mentioned on any of the videos, right here, the way this valve works, is if you want to open this valve to let air out, you push it in and you turn it like this, and it'll stay open. Then you turn it back and close it. So I'm going to go ahead and top it back off again. Watch the valve. There you go. Now you know it's full. Can you cut? amount of packing on the front end so that when you get the product on the back end it doesn't have any kind of damage that might happen. Every Aquabanus product will come with a repair kit and in this repair kit, this particular one for the tent, you have patch, you have patch materials for the repair. This is the 8 ounce top roof. This is the six ounce for the white legs, and this is the nine ounce, or I'm sorry, the six ounce for the light gray for the top. You also have four quick links, and you use these quick links to make the connection of the tent leg to the banner top. We'll talk about that in a minute. You also have an extra inflation valve and a tool in order to fix it. So that is the standard inflation kit.
tell this is pretty lightweight. I'm just whipping it around. Tuck it, tuck it. Um, obviously, dispose of the trash properly. We're going to keep it there so it doesn't blow away. All right, so back to the tent. It's rolled up. You have the straps right here from the factory. And I'm going to go ahead and undo this right here. Okay, then it's probably best at this point, we're going to pick this up, and bring it over here and put it on top of the party banner. So just walk with me over there, don't stop. You have an inflation valve on this lake here, and directly across from it you have an inflation valve and also a pressure relief valve, and I'll explain that. Okay, the inflation valve, we're going to hook our pump up to this in a second. The pressure relief valve, when you have PVC products and you inflate them and they sit in the sun, the sun will start to as they heat up, the sun will make the air expand inside. And so you need to have a way to let that air vent out. So we have a pressure relief valve on this that's set at 2.5 PSI. So if this is above 2.5 PSI, it'll start venting air. So it's, it's, it's not anything wrong if you hear it venting. What we're going to do when we inflate it is we're going to inflate this until this pops open. When this pops open, you don't have to check the pressure. It's automatically at 2.5 PSI. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get the pump. Let's keep rolling. Let's not stop anything. Remember, we have two hoses here. Put the hose in. Just basically put it in as a little notch right here. Find where it goes, then twist it and lock it into place. And it stays right there. This will take about three minutes. Maybe three minutes to inflate something like that. Pretty fast.
that's pretty unusual. I don't think I've ever had the blower fall over twice in the same day and turn itself off because it hit the button. Anyway, that's what's happened right there. So while you're waiting on this to inflate, it's a good thing to go ahead and get all your links out and get ready to make your, your connections. Open them up all the way so that they're open. later. The main thing is go ahead and get them on while it's still pliable. When you set the tent up, you want to rotate the tent so the logo is over the step there. That way as people are coming in, they see the Aquabana's logo. We'll turn this around in a minute, but the same inflation, basic same inflation. That's your aqua banner, that's your party banner, and your party tent. And feel, you know, feel free to contact us, info at aquabanas.com, with any questions you might have. Thank you very much. Okay, so here we are in a completed aqua banners P10 combo system. And as you look at this, basically you've got the tent up here. In this case, we've got the gray, the light gray and the white color scheme. Um, if you look at the center of the tent up there, you see a ring. That ring is used for hanging a light, or you can hang a fan, or any number of different things that you might want to feel like you need to display something. You've got a ring there. If you custom order an Aquabana's product, we can add as many rings as you want, put them wherever you want. We can change the colors. We can put your logo on it. So if you want to do some kind of a corporate sponsorship of floating Aquabana's in the water, then we can do that, and we can badge it up and make it look exactly like what you want it to look like, regardless of who the corporate sponsor may be. Um, in addition to this, you've got the backrest, which I'm sitting, you know, leaning against right now. 
If I wanted to sit on the backrest, it's not a problem at all. I've had these where in the water we've had six adults, six large adults, sitting on each on the top of each arm. Um, so that's 12 large people without any issue at all. The Aquabana's deck will easily support well over 2,000 pounds. The table right here, uh, I know people all want to see me get up on the table, but if you grab that drink right there. So ba ba basically rock solid, get on this. I mean, if you get on the edge, it's going to tilt. But if you're talking about just something solid, this is absolutely rock solid, not a problem at all. The netted foot wells. Right here, I'm going to sit back down. Well, here, as a matter of fact, here. This is a backrest. So you can sit on the backrest. Everybody can sit on the backrest. It's really, really comfortable. There's a lot of times this will be on the back of a yacht or it's at a trade show, and people don't want to get wet. They're wearing regular street clothes. They can take their shoes off, step right onto this, walk around it, and sit on this thing for hours and hours and never even get a drop of water on them, which is really cool. That's when people sit here. On the other hand, after people have been on it for a while and they're getting wet, then they can go ahead, sit down, put their feet in the foot wells. The foot wells go down about 20 inches below the deck. So you don't have any problem with, you don't have the, the, the nets wrapping up around your feet. That's not a problem. And if your keys fall off, it's not too deep to reach down and get hold of them. So that works out really well. Right there, you've got a, uh, you, a hole that's pre-cut so you can take your coolers and put your coolers in there. Um, we used a Yeti Y45 as our design inspiration, but any 45 quart cooler will fit in there without a problem. Um, the, we have the uh, quick step access, so basically you push that down, put your foot on it, and walk right in. It's, it's pretty effortless to get in. Um, it seems to be a little twisted up underneath something right there, but, but basically there's some rings on here. There's some rings on here and you can just hang a weight between these rings and it'll drop it down and hold it and you can just come right up step up into it and get in there we've got handles here to help you as you grab onto it uh over here haven't even talked about this we've got the lounger what's cool about the lounger is that if your foot were to slip right here it doesn't go through because we have a gap we have a, a gator mouth flap right here and we have another gator mouth flap right here and then this this is called a gap cap flap and basically, it goes there and it seals the gap. If you look around, right here, right here, and also on three sides, so directly behind the camera right there, over here on the other side of this backrest, and right here, there are flaps that go the entire length of it. What that's made for is when you have a second band of deck that you put together, then you can go ahead and put them together and you can take the, we have different flaps that go in between that. That way when you step between the bandits, nobody falls through. It's very safe. And then of course out here, you got your lounger. The lounger's tied on, it's not going anywhere. There's links underneath, there's stainless steel links underneath that are keeping this together with the unit. So it's all tied together. And this is it, this is the P10 party combo. The, oh, the other thing that's really, really cool, there's so many features on this, I tend to forget them all. But basically, if you look on this floor, the surface right here is a non-slip surface. So basically, okay, I guess if you hit it at the right angle, but basically it's, it's, it's super, if you compare this to just regular vinyl, you're slipping all over the place. This is a really nice non-slip grip surface. Um, what else have we forgotten? Uh, these rings right here, on the outside, there's these rings are two meters apart. And what those rings are for is when you take another Aquabana deck and put it up beside it, the rings link together and then you have this flap here that seals the, the gap and, and that's it. So this is just one of very many Aquabana's products that we have. Um, if you go to Aquabana's.com, we have a 48 page full color catalog of so many different things we have. The other thing is we do massive custom work. So if you needed something uh, bespoke, as they say, for a a yacht or for a, a corporate need or something like that, we can absolutely work with you on that. So look us up, aquabanus.com, or send us an email at info at aquabanus.com, uh, or you can send it to mark, M-A-R-K, at aquabanus.com. But either way, we're here for you. We look forward to hearing from you. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.